uh, first of all, let's talk a bit about the rules of this uh, particular lecture. First of all, we would like you to sit a bit more comfortable, find your, uh, find your comfortable zone, uh, wherever, wherever you are at the moment, in the studio, at home, maybe you are in the kitchen, find your comfortable zone. Maybe you can have a cup of tea. But if uh, and when there will be some exercises, please try to do it, even if you're at home, not in the studio, try to do it. Uh, by doing these exercises, you will also understand the information a bit, um, a bit better. A bit better. So, the uh, subject of our lecture is how to stay connected and still being able to project. So, today we will talk about uh, different levels of uh, connection. So, how could we uh, be connected and how... With whom? With whom? By Zoom, maybe. And uh, also we will speak about uh, projection. What is projection? How could we project uh, in a better way and uh, what will happen to us if we will not project and we will not be aware of this projection. And a little bonus as well comes with this lecture. Uh, you can learn a perfect Russian English accent if you will copy the way we speak English. This is a little bonus, so nice, you can, you can learn it. So let's start. Uh, first thing about this uh, subject is uh, connection. What is connection? What is being connected together? There are different, uh, different layers of this uh, subject. And uh, of course, uh, the most obvious thing is uh, to be connected physically, to be physically in touch with each other. But it's not the beginning of uh, connection. If we will start with this physical connection, uh, dancing will be physical as well. We will fight with each other again. So, first thing that uh, we should start is connect with uh, our own body, connect, connect with ourselves. Um, yeah, I think it's, what does it mean? Yeah, I think it's a um, few stages of this connection with ourselves. First stage is to wake up your body a bit. And uh, to do it, the best way is to start from extremities of your body. Start from your fingers, start from your foot, start from your head, start to do some simple warming up exercises. And the uh, interesting thing, and very important thing in this stage, is to feel your extremities, feel your feet, feel your fingers on your hands. Yeah, try to move from one foot to another foot, just to feel your own body. Then, we like to know this thing is very useful. Imagine that you're taking off uh, gloves, some big It's taking off your shirt a little bit as well. And, and, you're and you start to feel the surface of your body. Now you can try to do it like this. Or you can do like a massage. Like a gorilla. So basically, you wake up your body. Before you wake up your body, you can't dance. You can't be connected with, with your partner because you're not connected with your own body. So this is the first stage. Then, after you start to feel your body, uh, you need to connect with your mental side. So what does this mean? Uh, if you are stressed out, uh, like a competition situation, uh, you will do things that you never practice. You will do some weird things. And your partner is uh, not prepared for these things. So it's very important to connect with you, uh, with yourself mentally, with your better self mentally, before you start to connect with your partner. Uh, otherwise, your partner will dance with a not a good version of yourself, with stressed out version of yourself. And to do this, uh, we are using a quite interesting um, technique. So I'll try to so look at this beautiful. Uh, I'll try to draw it. So. There are uh, two versions of me. Me, number one. Can you see? Yeah, I think uh, maybe like this. Can you see? Yeah. Me, number one. See? Beautiful. Look. Beautiful. This is me. as a person, me as a person. And me as a person have uh, different moods. One day I can be angry, one day I can be happy, one day uh, I can be sad, nervous, uh, sad, yeah. And um, all these uh, qualities, all these moods of uh, me as a person 
uh, also connects it with dancing. If I'm starting to dance from this point, from me uh, as a person, I will bring all these uh, negatives as well as positives to the performance. And this sometimes can be good if we are lucky, if we are lucky. But in some cases, it can destroy our performance. So to be able, uh, in case, yeah, in case to, if we want to produce a more professional performance, I mean. Um, um, yeah, they, 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 this is how I want to say it. Uh, of course, the optimum, the best ever performance is very difficult to achieve. And um, it, it will be once or twice uh, per your career. Uh, but we can, uh, while we're practicing still, because we're trying to make our, not, not saying medium, medium, but 80% level performance as good as possible uh, to be able to that's uh, every competition in a good way. 80% level still still will be good enough to win, for example. And uh, uh, this is, will be much more professional. If we one day we're dancing like a, uh, dancing gods, and uh, one day we're dancing very bad, let's, let's say like this. Uh, it's, it's not really professional. And uh, for, the, for the competition, for the judge, it will be very difficult uh, to believe you to trust you yeah you know to, to judge you because uh, they will never know uh, is it a good day is it a bad day are you dancing how, how are you gonna dance today so uh, you need to develop another you let's uh, make it a bit better uh, i'll hope it's the... i think you should practice it yeah i'm a dancer not a um... artist I'm an artist, I'm not a drawing artist. So, uh, and this is super... Super feather. Super dancer, super me, let's call it like this. So, this guy has uh, different qualities, which I'm trying to choose from all qualities of the, that, that are possible to choose. And how to choose which, which qualities, which moods uh, you want to pick for you as a super, a super dancer. Uh, you can use a uh, few things. One technique is uh, try to remember uh, the day when you danced your best ever performance, best ever competitive dance. Try to remember this uh, particular competition, or maybe it was on practice, I don't know. And if you think back about this uh, day, it was definitely not in 2010, 20, I guess, <laughs> because not uh, you uh, try, try to remember yourself. How did you feel your body? How did you feel? What parts of your body felt free? What, uh, what did you feel? Just, it could be anything. How much energy did you put in your body? Maybe you were very soft. Maybe some people feel, oh, I feel so when I'm soft, I feel so I'm dancing the best. Some people feel when they're really strong inside, that's their best performance. So you, you should choose your own self, what you should do. Mm -hmm. you, and you can do it by analyzing your own performance or you can watch, uh, uh, any dancer, whatever who you, who you like, and uh, look at them and uh, what, what, what do you feel about them? Oh, they're so confident, or oh, they're so shiny, I don't know, or oh, they're so dramatic. And uh, try to write down all these qualities and own it, own it for you as a super dancer performer, not you as a person, because you as a person can, these moods can be changeable, but you as a dancer, you can control it a bit more to make it more professional. Okay, so two qualities, uh, two techniques. First, analyze your own best performance and try to uh, pick up what was uh, this performance about. How did you feel your own body? What was your experience of this uh, best performance? And try to write down the qualities of this performance. For example, I remember um, I was so free uh, in my top and I remember when we danced our best performance, we were really, really connected together like one person. I just, I just thought, okay, I want to do this much uh, shape, I don't know. And I remember that uh, Anna was completely with me without uh, trying to copy, I don't know, it's just the kind of magic in there. So what would I write down about, about this harmony together? We were really in harmony together this, uh, at this stage. So after you write down this list, uh, very important thing, I even, I have to say this, uh, there is no, uh, like, um, the best list. One list is good list and another list is a bad list. Uh, it's up to you. You should choose what qualities, what moves uh, you want to pick for you as a dancer. It's 
just in, in to look the best. Yeah, there is no simple answer. Like you should be confident, you should smile, you should pick up your elbows, and uh, here we go. 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 <laughs> win. <laughs> Maybe for someone it will be the best ingredients to win, but for another couple it will be the worst ingredients. So it's about uh, it's a fun part of the game. You need to, to choose it. You need to choose. It. So after you write down these uh, qualities, uh, the trick is to switch between two versions of yourself. How to switch from you as a person to you as a super pooper dancer. And this is a trick. Let's talk about this. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this. Uh, there are a few, a few qualities, a few techniques again about this. And uh, we are using one that connects with different body parts. Uh, actually, it's based on uh, acting school. There are two uh, main acting schools in the world, uh, based on uh, uh, Stanislavski method and based on his pupil Mirholt methods. And Stanislavski was going from uh, his um, 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 it's your own your own experience. So you you gaining a lot of experience from your uh, personal life. Uh, you have a girlfriend, you have a dog, you have a mother and father, and uh, you gain experience from from them from everyday life. And then you take this experience into your role. Uh, this is Stanislav's method. And, 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 and I must say that uh, this um, background makes you move in a different way. You see? So if you, if you need to play a uh, drama, you try to remember your experience of drama in life, and you bring this drama into your uh, act. This is one method. It's a very cool, very good, but uh, uh, we, we're not a professional actress, of course, but we've tried to do this and we found that it's a bit difficult to switch between the dances uh, because it's five dances in a row, yeah? Uh, and the change of the role every, every time. Like, you, you need to be super, I don't know, uh, experienced actor to switch uh, quick enough from, uh, I don't know, let's go, a cliche, let's go to cliche, from a happy quick step to a dramatic tango, for example. It's, it's a quick uh, switch. Uh, bad example, from dramatic tango to happy Venice Wolves, for example. And maybe Leonardo DiCaprio could do this, but um, yeah, he's probably have different talents than, uh, than us. So we decided that this is a great method, but a bit difficult to, to apply in both of And his pupil's method, Mirko, came from uh, another part. So he came from, started to feel your own body, so he uh, it's a long story short. If you want to learn a bit more, please read their work. Uh, it's uh, our interpretation of understanding. So, uh, if you uh, want to uh, feel something, you need to find the body position that makes you feel this, uh, this way. Very simple example. If you want to feel uh, yourself a bit more confident, you need to stay as a confident person. How confident a person stays? Like this. And if you stay like this, you will start to feel a bit more uh, in this in dancing, we found that this method is a bit more useful to uh, to use. So uh, we will use this method to switch from me as a normal life person to me as a dancing person. And uh, where is this magic button? It again depends on you, on your own experience of your body. Uh, let's try a few of these buttons. Uh, I prefer to use foot. So I'm starting. I think you can see my foot now. I'm starting to uh, increase foot pressure to the floor, and from this foot pressure, I feel that my whole body is ready to dance. It's uh, difficult to describe, but from the foot pressure, all body starts to be involved in the performance, not different parts. And uh, for you, you start. Uh, like I, I like to start from the stomach, from the stomach to the feet. To the head and then to my fingers. I feel from here it's like a stretch, like a stretch from all over the body. Mm -hmm. So I, I know a guy who is uh, connecting to his dancing persona through the eyebrow, like this. He starts to do his eyebrow and through this face he immediately ready to dance. So it's uh, up to you. You need to ex experience different uh, things to then choose which one you think is the best to, to use. Uh, uh, so Some people are uh, feeling when they are doing their costuming or when they are doing makeup, they are uh, immediately in the different persona. So, um, 
it's the way you are changing this persona is important that you know the key that you should use. Yeah, maybe when you put it on your tail suit, yeah. this is the feel of a dancing body, or uh, I don't know if you put your eyelashes on and you feel, oh, now I'm a dancing queen, let's go. So it's about experience, how you want to, yeah, how you, how you will find this key is up to you. So, first, you wake up your body, after you feel that your body is ready to dance, you need to switch to your dancing persona. How you will switch? Experience, try, experiment, and then you will find your own magic button to switch to this dancing mood. So, after you connect to yourself, you can start to uh, talk about the uh, second part, connect with your partner. So, now you first connect to yourself, then connect to your partner. And again, a uh, very important thing, when you are starting to connect with your partner, you have to realize one simple uh, thought, that your partner is also a live person. It's not an object, it's... She is not an object. <laughs> this is I my... I can change. <laughs> this is Russian, uh, Russian English. It's, it's an object. Okay. She is not an object, she is a live person. And why is it very important to realize this? Because the alive uh, creature have a, a will to do, have a desire to do something. And an object is basically a static thing. And um, probably you all know and notice that it's not very interesting to watch at static things. But it's very interesting to watch a relationship of two personas, of two people, two alive creatures. It, it can be not even people, it can be, I don't know, um, dog fight, it can be dog and cat, dog and mouse. Yeah. And, uh, and it's also, more dynamic. Yes, yeah, it's, much more, it's much more into, into this relationship, much more dynamic into this relationship. And uh, by the way, uh, in all uh, cinema stories, all theatre plays, uh, not all of them, but nearly all of them, based on this relationship, men and women, relationship or just a uh, two people relationship you rarely uh, can find a good uh, play or a good movie about a table and a chair and how they relate to each other they basically just stay and that's it in your kitchen and they are here for you to sit now and to enjoy this lecture so uh, uh, you yeah and by the way it will be very wise to use this tool uh, relationship to attract people, to make people want to look at you, you see? And if you're just uh, acting as a, as a table and um, a chair, it's not, uh, it's not very interesting to watch. But in Bolo, you can see this very often. Uh, I'll try to show, this is, uh, <laughs> I, must say, I must say that for the, from the guy perspective, uh, it's quite, it can be quite enjoyable. You just uh, take your partner as a frame and you start to operate. Uh, it can be enjoyable because you have a total control. But I never heard from any lady, if I've started to dance like this, that it's comfortable. So that I can dance. Yeah, I will try to show uh, as good as we can. I hope you Throw, can yes? see. Yeah. Uh, now I will treat Anna as an object. As a train. Yeah. She is my train. Yeah, it's very dominant. It's very dominant. I can do whatever uh, I like. I'm really dictating what is going to be next. Throw away or sway. Right lunge. And then I'm going to prominent. But I'm not giving her any chances to react, to dance these steps. She's just a servant. She's my servant. Yeah, servant to me. Keeping this frame. Maybe it's uh, necessary at some stages of your career. Maybe if you can't uh, hold yourself totally, you need to, uh, and you need to increase the body tone for a few days. Maybe you could experiment with this uh, type of dancing. But basically, from a certain level, when your qualities are allowed yourself to stay on your own foot, um, it's not necessary to to dance like this. And it will be much more interesting to watch the couple. Uh, who are trying to use uh, man and woman uh, relationship performance. For example, the first uh, touch, it's a very important thing. In life, it's uh, not very often when a guy touches a lady's hand. 
and uh, it's uh, all the time means something. And basically, it means that oh, I, I like you, and uh, I want to spend some time with you, closer with you. Maybe we can go for the dinner and uh, to the cinema. I don't know. And this touch is quite interesting to watch. If I am not aware of this touch, I'm just uh, touch dragging. I'm using the opportunity to attract attention of the audience to me. I'm just uh, skipping. But if I think of it and I'm using this for life and feeling the way she is reacting, I'm trying to feel how she is touching me. How what does it feel? How, how much tone is it? Yeah, how much tone today? Maybe uh, yesterday it was more soft, but today maybe it's more strong and you are starting to react. Yeah, react is the key. I'm feeling how is she today and I'm reacting. After I feel her, we can take it on. The next stage is touched in the world. Well, the touch of the body is also very intimate. In life, we are not very often touching with the body. Yeah, maybe the nuts. So, um, life uh, creature will do something. And uh, if you are in a normal uh, uh, mental and uh, psychological uh, mood, you will react to this. And this will be interesting to watch. For me, it was a big uh, breakthrough when I realized this uh, thing. And uh, by the way, if you are stressed out and you are out of control, you wouldn't react to this. For example, if I'm now really stressed out by doing this lecture and I'm, uh, I don't know, dropping a pen and uh, I'm trying to ignore it, oh, nothing happened. But it's a lecture time. Uh, it's not normal. It will say that I am stressed out. But and still uh, not in the moment. Just if I'm okay, I will react to this. It's a chance to me to show that I'm okay, actually. So I, it means that I'm connected with myself. I'm not out of my body by this stress, knocked out by this stress yet. So I will react. And uh, this is a good opportunity, again, to show to the, to the judge, I don't know, because to the audience, to the judge, that um, you are inside your own body and you're controlling the situation. You're not uh, stressed out yet. And this is disconnected with your own body here. Yeah. Because if you are, it's again it's very easy to see. It's easy you, when you're trying to avoid uh, avoid the, the accident, it means that you're stressed out. Like uh, in dancing it's the same. If you have uh, something accident and you're uh, starting to do things like it's, it's not happening, it uh, looks um, um, not professional. Yeah, take a look when, when, can, uh, when this problem can uh, uh, comes to you. Basically, when you are dancing the floor craft. So try to think back about your floor craft. 99% uh, in ballroom, when you're dancing the floor craft, you start to accelerate because your body starts to feel a bit more stress and you start to accelerate your feet. You start to go out of this uh, situation very fast. And this may be not always a good uh, uh, choice. If you're doing this consciously, if you're um, controlling yourself and feel, yeah, I need to go fast in this direction, this is the way to go out of the traffic situation, then do it. But if you are panicking and uh, you let this uh, panic and stress to dictate your steps, uh, I don't know what to do, I go this way, oh no, this couple this way, I go this way. So, no, it's not a, it's not a good performance. You're not connected with yourself. Yeah. Well, what's uh, shall we try to connect? Uh, yeah, we can plan this, but why not? So, if we are really connected to each other, it means that Anna will be able to follow my lead, and uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Is it coming from? It's a lucky day today, so we are connected <laughs> together, so we can feel each other. Yeah, uh, it's how to practice this, uh, practice without music, practice to improvise. Uh, choose the simple steps, choose some groups from your routine, and then connect it with some simple steps, and then come back to your routine again, and uh, after a while you will feel that uh, you can do any step, whatever you like, and you still will be able to connect together, and then come with each other.
uh, and uh, all this uh, stuff was basically about um, we call it performance skills or competitive skills. Uh, and by the way, so it doesn't matter which level you are, you can practice this and get it better. Yeah, I would like to highlight actually, it's a very good comment. Uh, it doesn't matter which technical level you are at this stage, by using these uh, performance skills or competitive uh, skills that we were talking about, by connecting with your own, with yourself, connecting with your partner, it will increase um, the level of your performance. So it will look better on the competition right now. And of course, when your technical level is increasing, it will only help these performance skills and you will be able to show a better dancing. You, I think you understand what I mean. And by the way, we are preparing a, a, a project about uh, where, we, where we will talk a bit um, uh, deeper about these um, performance skills, etc. And uh, yeah, follow our social media. Advertisement closed, I think this is closed. Then, uh, let's talk a bit, just a bit about the technical side of uh, connection towards each other. Uh, it's uh, also very important. And uh, from our experience, it's uh, many, many, many techniques. And Mary, uh, Mary, this is Russian, Mary. <laughs> What's so, uh, uh, these qualities of how you dance together, how you connect towards each other, can be sometimes opposite. Uh, it just uh, tells me that uh, it should also be developed by a great uh, uh, dancer. It's, uh, it's not one way to success. It's a lot of many different ways. So, but uh, today I would like to, we would like to talk about one basic principle, uh, which we found very uh, vital and uh, very uh, Useful, yeah, very useful. It's uh, we can use it time to time. Reliable, yeah, that's the word I'm searching. It's very reliable method, and uh, even if you're stressed out, but you're trained good enough, you will not fall apart. So this is good method, and um, uh, I think the, the most clear way to, to uh, express this method uh, was given to us by one and only Mr. Richard Lee, and he said once that the center of the mass controls the movement of the mass. And uh, I, I would like to show you a very simple example. Yeah. And an assistant. Yeah. Imagine this is a, yeah. This is an object. Not a person. <laughs> Not a person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is an object. Yeah. Bottle of water. And it's uh, if you see uh, half. Um, mm, it's half empty or half full, depends uh, which country you are at this, uh, this stage. <laughs> so, um, let's say it's uh, half full. And uh, where is the center of the mass of this uh, object with the water? The center of the mass will be inside the center of this water level, inside the water in the center. And if I want to uh, control this object, uh, I, the most efficient way to do it is will be to operate with this center of the mass. So if I push here, it's moving very simply. But if I'll try to uh, kind of operate with this object by uh, putting energy into uh, extremities, for example, this object is not really moving. Yeah, it's inclining, but it's uh, not the most efficient way to remove the object. I need to add maybe extra push and then uh, no, it's, it's difficult. But if I'm uh, connecting directly to the center of the mass, it's much more efficient. Thank you very, very much. So back to dancing. Uh, we all know that uh, the center of gravity, center of the mass, is a little bit down below um, the very, very bottom. Yeah. Here, it's here, inside our body. So and when we dance together also, uh, it will be much more efficient to um, to talk, to communicate with the partner through this area. For example, if I'm staying in the promenade and I want to leave Anna out of the promenade, and I will try to do it through my hands, for example, like push her. It's not really working. We are not together, we are not together. Another example, I will try to beat her through my moving leg. Okay, I'll try to stretch the moving leg. It's we're not in harmony. For me, it's very difficult to predict uh, the level of the step that you do. Yeah. Size of the step becomes a mystery. So, but if we are connected together via uh, centers, it's much easier to be in harmony together and 
finish, for example, this simple step out of the front end together. So this is how we feel that um, uh, this uh, method, center of the mass, helps to control the movement of the mass. It's very efficient, very simple uh, method. And, uh, but also it's uh, an artistic method. If you have a look at this uh, beautiful guy, uh, there. Actually, it's a uh, he's Russian, yeah? Russian. Uh, yeah. 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 Maybe you heard uh, Alumin. Yeah. yeah, he's a famous belly uh, dancer. Uh, look, look at him; he's great. And uh, you can see even it's a static picture, but you can see dynamic about this picture because uh, his uh, center connected with his foot and connected with his hands. It's not if I do, if I do this, it will not look. Uh, Beautiful, but I, I can do it beautifully wrong. This is uh, how I can. For example, my center is not moving at all, and I'm just doing this. It's not beautiful. Oh, this way. Ah, this way. Oh, and even worse, my center is doing nothing, and I'm doing like this. No, not beautiful. But if my center is involved, if I'm moving with all my body, and then I'm doing like this. Uh, it was beautiful, I know. Just don't tell me it was just beautiful. It, it looks much more in harmony and it's connected with the ballroom as well. For example, if I dance in uh, Hobby Quarter and uh, if I stop my center from moving, totally stop, totally ignore it. It will look a bit uh, uh, not full. Yeah, have a look at this. So now we're going to connect it and I'm dancing the Hobby Quarter, you can see that I stop my center from moving. Just doing shape. It's uh, okay. It's not bad, but um, it's not really full. We can we can try to make it fuller eh? with applying the continuous motion in the center as well. So we can connect together, each other, and then we dance with this over quarter and then continuously going forward, and then we can go wherever we like. So hopefully it will look a bit more fuller uh, than the version without uh, using the center of the mass. Yeah, this is uh, one thing about center and another thing also about the hands. Hands are also very important parts of the body when we're talking about communication and connection together. Uh, first thing that uh, you need to remember, it's universal, that hands are never generating the power. Hands are only transferring the part of the power from power. <laughs> transferring the power from my center movement towards the partner. Very simple, actually, exercise. And uh, this one you can try with your uh, partner. It's very, very, very useful. Just a simple box steps, uh, connecting hands to hand, like this. Uh, now we're all standing on our own feet. And by moving our body weight slightly towards the floor, and we start to feel connection with the hands. If we take these hands away, we are going to balance on our own foot. So it's not like this, I'll show you the problem. It's not like this, we're not fighting with the. Yeah, but we are definitely not pulling away from each other. We are giving body weight slightly towards this way. And then we're going to see simple long steps and trying to protect this space between us and protect the amount of uh, touch between us. We should not increase it or decrease it. We're trying to keep it the same. And to make it possible, we should be quite sensitive at this stage. And very much connected to yourself. Yeah, definitely. So uh, I'm leading this step and I'm choosing which uh, speed we are going. We're really trying to make it together in harmony. Yeah. I, I can do it all day. I can do it all day, definitely. It's a very, very useful method to start to feel uh, moments in your routine then as well, in your own choreography, where you're starting to pull away from your partner. Because um, for, for us guys, I, don't, I think it's not a secret, it's um, sometimes difficult to feel where we started to put the partner because of the structure. The hands is moving uh, this way, the lady put hand this way, and uh, for her it's definitely much easier to feel when the partner starts to pull uh, her. So uh, if we change, uh, if we try to dance some groups of your routine with uh, this position, 
I know it's uh, maybe difficult to do on pivots, of course, but uh, on simple steps you can feel where you start to pull away. Or then you can try to dance with the uh, um, practice ball, again like this, with a, a slight connection towards each other. Yeah. And uh, dance in some uh, uh, groups, you will feel where you start to lose this connection, where you start to it's just, uh, just mess it around with some program step. But still, every step I feel that our body weights really connected towards each other. So it's a very useful tip to use one practice and understand where you lose in this connection, this body weight connection to the part. The most difficult thing actually is uh, to move backwards and still be connected uh, to your partner. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when we're starting to move backwards, it's very easy to just to go back. And we need to be aware of where he is and still moving back. That's the most uh, difficult part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is another exercise that you can practice and uh, improve your connection towards each other. So we already talked about oh, many, many things. We already talked about uh, uh, first that you need to connect with yourself. You need to switch to your dancing persona, let's call it like this. Then you should be aware that you are dancing with a real person, not just an object, not just a frame or skirt, or dress, you see. And uh, then you are starting to physically connect towards each other. And uh, from this stage, from this stage, we can talk about projection. What is projection? How to project? And uh, I have a funny story actually about this. I remember when we uh, were kids and uh, just starting to dance together, I think I was 16 and Anna was 14 at this stage. And uh, we were uh, lucky to join the group uh, lecture of uh, one and only Mr. John Wood. Yeah, and um, it was maybe, I think it was first time when we, when we saw him. Yeah, and uh, I don't remember all lecture, of course, but I remember that he was showing some uh, steps to break, and in the end he was doing the promenade impetus, finishing the promenade, and always saying, and feel that you project, project, what is project? For my English at this stage, even at this stage it's very difficult, but at that stage it was definitely a difficult to understand what does he mean, what is project? And I project? remember we were just trying to, to, put a, to, do, to do like this. Project? Maybe ice? No, no, definitely not ice. So, um, I think the problem with this project uh, thing is that in Russian language actually we don't have one word uh, similar with, yeah. With, yeah, with a similar um, description. meaning, yeah. Yeah, description. Uh, so it's a few, few words to describe what does it mean. So when uh, I realized this, I also find out that a cool thing about this um, project. It's, maybe it's not a cool thing, but uh, for, for me it was very interesting to, to know how the projector works. I'm talking about cinema projector. Um, and uh, maybe you know, but I'll show you, because for me it was, wow, wow. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, coming, coming back to the pictures, I go this way. Okay, inside any projector, there is a lamp that produces the light. Uh, this will be lamp. Yeah. Imagine this is a lamp. And uh, this lamp produces the light. The light goes through the lamp and uh, I think you see, yep, goes through the lamp and goes through the uh, picture inside the projector. Let's, go, let's uh, show this picture. Chim, chim, chim. Um, there is a beautiful house. Maybe it's your house where you're locked in right now. Uh, at this beautiful picture. And uh, yeah, not funny, I know. And after this light goes through the picture, it projects to the screen. To the screen, I hope you see. And uh, this picture becomes in the big screen. Big screen, yeah. And this picture, same picture, becomes visual for the audience inside the cinema, for the people. Uh, people see. Yeah, I'll try to. Yeah, this is. Uh, for mom and dad. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. This is people. So, one more time. There is a light inside the projector. Yeah, like this. There is a light inside projector. 
that goes through the picture and makes this picture visual on the wall for the audience. And for me, it's, it's quite exciting uh, thing, actually. Uh, because we can use exactly the same principle in our dancing. So, uh, what is this uh, light in our dancing? The light will be our focus, focus attention, our concentration. Uh, what is this picture? The picture will be the subject that matters at this particular step or this particular dance, etc. Uh, and uh, after my focus goes through this subject matter at this stage, this subject becomes more visual for the audience. Uh, it, that's it. Uh, thank you. Bye. See you next time. So actually, this is a big, big thing for me and uh, a very fun part about that. Very because, useful. Yeah, very useful. It's really uh, because you can pick uh, any subject that matters for you at this stage and make this subject visual. So you need to uh, imagine, okay, what I want to show. Maybe now I want to show my, my, my beautiful, my beautiful light and the spine. Or maybe, and, I, and how I show it, I'm uh, putting my light, my focused attention into this uh, subject matters, my spine and posture. And this spine and posture becomes much more visual for the audience. Um, it's uh, also a good example to say, if you imagine a uh, black and white movie uh, and uh, one lady inside this movie have a red dress. Imagine this picture. And this is my uh, mental image about this subject matters. You picking up what you would like to highlight, for example, this lady's dress. And it becomes much more visual because all the rest comes into the shadow for a moment, for a second. And then you can switch. Okay, this and, and, and this step I'm showing dress, bad example. Uh, and another uh, step I'm showing the problem. I'm showing my spine and maybe my uh, posture. Another step I'm showing our relationship. How she is beautifully doing this step or that step. Or feet or head or something. Yeah, I think um, it's. Uh, uh, clear enough for this concept. And now we'll show you a few things. Okay, for, for example, I want you to show how you concentrate on your own body parts and make them visual and say it through. Yeah, so now I am starting to think that uh, my hand is actually the most important thing. So I'm starting to do and to think what I should do with the hand. So this hand starts to be the most important thing for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just going through, through, and that's it. I'm just starting to think what exactly I am doing. Am I squeezing? Am I stretching the fingers? Am I turning my hand? And how does this hand feel? Yeah. Yeah. And it's uh, for me like uh, I'm highlighting my hand only. That's why you, you, you can see the hand. Another thing with this projection is that if you're not picking up what is the most important subject that matters for you at this particular step or dance, um, it doesn't mean that you're not showing anything. Mm. You are still showing, but you are showing maybe at most of the time, you're showing too many things at the same time. And, uh, so the people uh, don't understand where to look at. Exactly. Yeah, it's very difficult to uh, watch uh, your dancing for long enough, you see, because you are showing uh, at the same time you're showing, oh, I have a beautiful posture, I have a nice uh, face projection, okay, I have a, what else? I have a, a, a very flexible body and I'm everywhere, I'm doing, I'm doing what I'm doing, everything. And uh, it's very difficult to understand what, what, what are you dancing about. So ask yourself, what are you dancing about? Yeah. Uh, and again, you should experiment. You should try this, you should try that. All, uh, everything can work. So quick, we have a uh, um, tip, quick tip how to systemize this thing again. Uh, first area of these subjects that matters are uh, inside your own body. If you imagine that you are focusing on your, your own feet, by dancing that, or you are focusing on your own spine, or you're focusing on your own, I don't know, body action in uh, Latin, I don't know. 
uh, and of course your hands and etc. This is the uh, area number one. You are uh, inside your own body. Yeah, like uh, imagine that you are in the dark room and that your body is lighting. So every body part is very important. So that's what people will, show, will see. That's uh, the body lighting. Let's show. So we will dance one uh, little group and uh, we will totally focus. First we will connect with our own and then we will connect to the other. And then we will try to highlight the I will think about my own body action inside this uh, yeah, body group of things. I don't know why I think this. Let's do it. This was version number one, when we were thinking and trying to highlight the body action inside this uh, group. The second area is, of course, when you're trying to highlight and this subject matters becomes inside your partner, so about your relationship. And the uh, very important thing, when you're trying to highlight uh, your relationship, your partner, the way you look at each other, for example, or the way you feel about each other, uh, it's very, very important not losing yourself. If you will uh, show your partner, for example, I don't know, uh, simple, oh, she's beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful, and you're losing yourself, look, what's this? It's bad posture, you're losing, it's not only bad posture, you're losing your own dancing mood, so you can't, you can't perform actually at your maximum at this stage. Um, you lost your super dancing. Yeah, you lost your super dancing uh, persona. Now we'll show this group one more time, and uh, this time we will concentrate on relationship, how we relate to each other. Version number two. Yeah, version number two. Uh, me personally, I, uh, I like this a bit, uh, a bit more. It's more uh, exciting, but not for every round. I definitely will not use it for every round. And uh, the third, the third area to simplify all this uh, theory is about the surrounding. So you can focus what is happening around you. It's definitely the audience, definitely judges that part of the audience, and uh, also other couples. So all that happens around you. And uh, now we'll dance one more time and try to focus what's, what's going on inside. But uh, remember, don't forget about yourself. You first, and then uh, you're the light of this pro projector, and then you're focusing on which body part or the person or the audience you want to light. Otherwise, you'll do my mistake when I was 16 uh, on the John Woods lecture and trying to open my eyes a bit wider. Yeah, it's, it's not about. Uh, projecting towards the audience because I was losing myself at this stage. I was just trying to reach them with my eyes. I think you can. This is uh, version number three, and uh, I don't know, but uh, in our case, most of the time when we are trying to practice this uh, uh, type of uh, concentration, uh, it it's look a bit more competitive. I don't know, but maybe it will not look competitive for you. And this is again the trick about all this uh, uh, theory, all these uh, systems. Yeah, uh, and you should uh, choose this focus uh, compared to the. Uh, ballroom where you're dancing. So if it's like a big floor or a small floor, everything is actually uh, can change this focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to add that uh, there is no uh, one area better than another area. So oh, if I'm thinking about, uh, if I'm concentrating on my own body, it's not as competitive as uh, if I'm concentrating on uh, the audience. This is not true. 
it's again everything connected with your own persona, with your own style. How do you feel about this? Maybe you have a talent to show your own body better than the talent to, the, to show your relationship to, to, to him. So again, it's the thing to experiment. You need to uh, try all these areas and uh, this is a real fun part and this will make your practices uh, much more uh, yeah, fun. Much more fun, definitely. And yeah. more talk. <laughs> <laughs> more talk, maybe. Yeah, good, good advice is it would be uh, plan before the practice. So yeah. if you pre-plan, so today we will uh, practice walls and we will try to concentrate on our own body parts, okay? I will think about feet, how I'm closing my feet in these walls and uh, that's it. try to highlight my feet. Uh, do it and then analyze. Is it uh, working? Is it not working? Make a few videos if you can. Um, yeah. Is it good enough uh, to get a, uh, another step in your results? Yeah. Uh, and for the next day, for example, try to pre-plan, okay, today I'm dancing uh, tango and uh, I will try to concentrate on how we relate to each other and this uh, relationship uh, thing only. So you can, it, again, it's uh, all these advices can be var variable. You say this variable, I don't, I'm not sure. So you can variable, you can, uh, you can play with it. With it. Um, and another day, just basic, basic uh, principle is pre-plan. If you came to the, to the studio and didn't plan what you're going to do, what you're going to practice, you will switch too quick from, okay, now I'm in my feet, now I'm uh, in my relationship, now I'm in the audience, and uh, you will gain experience about all these areas slower than if you concentrate only on one area. Try to be uh, diverse, yeah, just to split it a bit. One day for a body, one day for connection towards each other, and one day about the connection with the audience. Yeah, now we have lots of time to practice all these things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but definitely you have a lot of time to connect with yourself. Yeah. Locked, locked down, connect with yourself. Yeah, so uh, to summarize all this, by the way, if you want to explore a bit more about this, read books by Stanislavski, his pupil, Mr. Mirholt, and uh, another guy, Mr. Chekhov. Yeah, they are experts in this uh, theory of projection, because it's basically from acting school. It came, it, it came from uh, acting school. And uh, yeah, you will uh, learn uh, much uh, more <laughs> through their experience, of course, because they are working with, they were working, um, yeah, they all dead now, so uh, they were working, uh, beginning of 20th century, middle of 20th century, uh, on the daily occasion with the uh, best actors, so they, they gain a lot of experience of this uh, projection thing. So explore about this and uh, it will help you a lot. Just to summarize all this, uh, let's go through all these uh, subjects one more time. First, connect to your own body. Connect your own body. How? Wake up your own body and then switch to that same person. Second, connect with your partner. First thing, you realize that you are not dancing with an object. She is alive, so... I will change. She will change, and you need to be aware that you are changing as well with her. Then uh, you will connect physically and try to use some uh, simple technique how to be physically connected uh, together. And in this part, uh, we are always practicing only this section. Mm -hmm. So this part is going better, but we should uh, think about other parts as well. Yeah. And uh, the last uh, subject is projection. So you need to pick up what is the subject matter, what is this picture that you want to uh, uh, highlight. highlight with your focus attention and to show to the audience. This is uh, an artistic choice. You need to experience your own body, you need to experience your uh, partner's body, I mean uh, your partnership. Your abilities. Yeah, how, how your abilities of you as a couple to move uh, together and uh, then pick up what's, what's your talents, what's, what suits you the most and use it as a guns, as a tools. Yeah. And uh, then you will be Ask answered. your teachers what suits you best, what looks on you best and then uh, yeah, decide what you will yeah, thank you guys uh, one more time for your attention. I hope you enjoy this lecture and uh, learn a bit, learn a bit. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much one more time to the organizers, WC, and uh, we hope to see all of you again.
And if you watch this lecture, uh, not today, but in future, uh, send hi to us because we are still we are still locked uh, up, locked down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.